on behalf of the government, my wife Rebecca, my daughters and grandchildren, I extend warmest greetings and best wishes to all Ghanaians celebrating Christmas. We join the millions across the world in recognizing the sense of renewed hope this joyous season brings to us. As we give and receive the goodwill of Christ in this holy season, let us be mindful of the true meaning of his life on earth, and especially of his greatest commandment. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your might. And love your neighbor as yourself. I therefore encourage all to remain committed to the cardinal principles of Christianity, faith, love, charity, and reconciliation. Over the last 11 months, the period of stay of my government in office, we've taken concrete steps towards stabilizing and growing our economy, providing incentives for the private sector to flourish, and ensuring that the most basic elements of social justice, i.e. access to free quality education and health care, are met. I believe that the measures we have put and will put in place will lead to greater and greater employment for all Ghanaians, especially the youth, and higher and higher incomes. I'm confident that the best days of Mother Ghana lie ahead. Let us stay united and focus on the things that can help us construct the road to a brighter future. For my part, I'll always be grateful to God and to you, the Ghanaian people, for giving me the opportunity to serve you. I remain committed to devoting all my energies towards helping create a free and prosperous nation of opportunities where every Ghanaian child, no matter the circumstances of their birth, has a fair chance to strive for a happy and dignified life and realize their aspirations, and where we can unleash the sense of enterprise, creativity, and innovation of the Ghanaian people, so that together we can build a progressive, prosperous Ghana, whose citizens live in harmony and security, in fulfillment of the dreams of the founding fathers of our nation. Let us all celebrate the season safely and responsibly and remember to help those who are less fortunate than ourselves. Let each one of us do our bit to help feed those who are hungry and offer comfort to those in need. Let us take the time to gather, love, listen, and learn from each other and to remember that with the help of God, we can overcome any challenge and achieve any future of which we can dream. I wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. May God bless us all and our homeland Ghana and make her great and strong. And ex-president John Ajikunkufo has advised the youth to be patient as they await the good fortunes of the NPP government. He urged all Ghanaians to be tolerant and peaceful with one another. Now these were contained in his Christmas message to Ghanaians. Christmas being the day uh, when to us the saviour of mankind was born uh, should be marked by all people uh, in peace and in goodwill, goodwill towards each other. Uh, so I use the occasion to wish all the people of Ghana, everybody in this country, a Merry Christmas and uh, uh, a joyous and 
prosperous new year. Whatever has transpired before now, uh, we should look on Christmas as the, the time to draw the line so we look ahead afresh uh, for, on the basis of goodwill and with hope. For, we are a very young country. I believe the majority of our population can be classified as young or youthful. I would urge them uh, to restrain themselves. I know now we are told we have unemployed graduate association. If even the graduates are unemployed, you can imagine those who haven't had the opportunity. What's happening to them? Life is quite tough. But I would urge them to be patient because uh, you cannot change the world uh, with just a snap of the hand. No. Uh, what is important is that wherever you find yourself, try to be positively creative. You don't allow yourself to be tempted into bad ways because uh, you may destroy the, the chances of your future. So let's all live within the law and do whatever we can to sustain ourselves on the right side of the law. We are being ushered into better times. Times where uh, the nation would attract a lot of investments uh, that would lead to creation of jobs and that would also spread the wealth generally. Uh, it's not going to be just a few people, uh, perhaps tired as capitalists, just grabbing everything and holding on to it. No. This government, I believe, is uh, an open-minded government that is there for the people as a whole and not just for uh, some greedy few. So it's just a matter of patience and uh, in time, Ghana will be back on track. And the Convention People's Party has called for unity from all Ghanaians as Christmas is marked. Chairman of the party is Professor Edmund Daly. Fellow Ghanaians, Christmas is with us again. On behalf of the Convention People's Party, I wish to carry this message of hope for you. That Christ brought to us the message of love. So that despite all differences and difficulties we may be facing, we know that we need peace, love, tranquility in our country to move forward. Again, the message we want to say as CPP is that let us consider Ghana as a corporate entity. Ghana for all of us. And once we come together, we can solve our problems together. We have noticed with sadness that for nearly 20 years, even more, we have been struggling to come together as a group, a family, under one leadership and with one vision so that we can rekindle that glory that the Convention People uh, Party had, knowing very well that was the party which brought independence to Ghana and which lit the light for other countries in sub-Saharan Africa to gain independence. I think we have been talking, talking, talking. This time is action. God bless Ghana. God bless the Convention People's Party. Every life, a single life of every Ghanaian is important for us. So we are calling on the drivers, the passengers, the road users to make sure that we have a a Christmas which is free of accidents. God bless all Ghanaians. Have a wonderful festive season. The Vice President has called on ministers and other officers in government positions to serve the people of Ghana with trust and humility. Dr. Muhammadu Baumiel was of the view that will foster peace, stability and unity among the people of Ghana and the government. He was speaking during a visit to the Royal House Chapel in the Kanda Presbyterian Church of Ghana in Accra. The first part of call by the Vice President 
was the Royal House Chapel. It was flanked by some ministers of state and functionaries to the church. Amidst songs and worship, he received a rousing welcome from the Apostle General, Reverend Sam Crunchy Ankara. The visit by the Vice President was to honor his promise made to the church in the heat of the 2018 campaign season. The Apostle General, Reverend Sam Crunchy Ankara, lauded the Vice President for his immeasurable role to Ghana's development. He promised to support government for Ghana's development. Anybody here who has any contributions to make, anything to offer, please just speak this. And once you mean business, they will do business with you. This I can assure you. Vice President Dr. Mohamed Dubaumia emphasized on the peace and stability of the country and warned those in government positions to truly serve the people of Ghana. For us in positions of authority, we have to recognize we are only there by the grace of God and to serve the will of the people. That is all. That is all. We are there temporarily, temporarily to do the will of God, which is the will of the people. He presented a sum of 10,000 cities and 100 bags of rice to the church. The Apostle General sought God's guidance and good help for the Vice President and government. The Vice President again made a final stopover at the Kanda Presbyterian Church of Ghana. He was welcomed by the clerk of the General Assembly, Dr. Nyampong, and the acting moderator of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana, Reverend Dr. Vito Abe. In his sermon, the acting moderator, Reverend Dr. Vito Abe, spoke against corruption in the Ghanaian society. It is a shame that in today's Ghana, our sisters, our wives, our daughters will die during childbirth because the road leading to the hospital from the village is so bad that before they go to the hospital, the person is dead. And it points to one thing, that we are not being faithful to God who called us. Vice President Dr. Mohamed Dubaumia was elated government's flagship programs would improve on the lives of Ghanaians. This is what is driving free SHS, one million, one constituency, one district, one factory, one village, one dam. All of those things is trying to make sure everybody participates and is recognized for the resources of this country are used to benefit everybody. Later, he presented 10,000 cities and a hundred bags of rice to the church. The acting moderator prayed for the vice president and the government. Mr. Watching Media Life, we have more shortly.